All right, Shalom, Shalom. First and foremost, I would like to give all praises, honor, glory, respect, and blessings to Yahweh Bahasham, Yahweh Shai, Bahasham Racha Kodash. Salutations to the Lord's elect on the four corners of the earth, pushing this truth in sincerity while patiently waiting for Yahweh Shai's return. And as always, I would like to give double honors to our apostles and elders of Great Millstone, which have taught us everything we know through the spirit and power of Yahweh Bahasham Yahweh Shai. And welcome to another series of quick and important information being brought to you by the spirit and power of Yahweh Bahasham Yahweh Shai. This is your brother Yashamai coming back at you with, with more quick information. Just giving you a quick update um, on the United States who is bound or they're set to send Ukraine Patriot missiles and major escalation. Now to give you a, a quick update, okay, um, yesterday there was an article that came out which basically stated that Russia warned of grave consequences if the United States was to send Ukraine Patriot missiles or missiles okay Russia basically warned uh, of grave consequences if the United States gave Ukraine Patriot missiles basically stating that quote unquote if the United States send Ukraine Patriot missiles they will be considered as um, um, they will be considered as official enemy combatants on the war zone and that they would target United States troops. Now, and of course, you know, in that article that I read, you know, in the video I did, I read Matthews 24 and 6, and ye shall hear of wars and rumors of wars. So, you know, we can only, you know, like I said, you know, we're, we're, we're in the midst of World War Three. okay? We, World War Three started the, the moment, <laughs> you know, the United States decided to help Ukraine in their confrontation against uh, Russia okay and remember earlier this year we know that China also sent soldiers down into Ukraine in order to aid Russia against the force against those United States mercenaries you know soldiers who were acting as mercenaries to aid Ukraine in their battle against Russia now um, I believe there was earlier this year you know the United States has sworn not to uh, give Ukraine Patriot missiles, right? But then, of course, you know, we're speaking of the devil here that, that likes to speak with a forked tongue. You know, if you don't know what what um what a um what somebody is that speaks with a forked tongue, uh, somebody who speaks with a forked tongue is basically somebody who says that they won't or will do something, but then they turn around and do it anyway, or they turn around and don't do it anyway. So a person, like for an example, you know. You know, a, a, a man might encounter a woman, you know, she might be, you know, terrified, you know, that, that she might be living in a land of lawlessness. There's all kind of chaos and civil unrest going on, you know, and, and you know, this man comes, this, this man who is an Edomite, a, a devil, if you will, encounters this woman, right? And he basically, you know, this, this woman is looking at him, she's terrified. She's hoping that, you know, he don't he don't harm her. So then, you know, the man tells the woman, "Go ahead, run alone." Uh, you know, the, the man basically tells the woman, "Go ahead, run alone. I won't hurt you, dear." So then, you know, she basically nods her head at him, right? And then she turns around and run off. And now she's running off. He pulls out a gun and shoots shoots the bitch right in the back of her head. So that's 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 what happens when you encounter somebody who speak with a forked tongue, you know. So the United States basically told Russia, like, hey, you ain't got nothing to worry about. We're not going to send Ukraine Patriot missiles. But what are we seeing here? The U.S. is set to send Ukraine Patriot missiles and major escalation. So now Russia is basically telling the United States, look, you send Ukraine those Patriot missiles, and we're going to consider you as official. Uh, um, uh, enemy combatants on the battlefield and which that's going to lead to US soldiers being targeted over there in Ukraine so this 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 World War 3 that we're currently in is heating up more and more 
okay now World War three is really going to kick off when those so-called Israelis uh, make their move on Iran because currently there is 50,000 plus troops stationed on the borders of Iran waiting for further orders and we know that as soon as the so-called Israelis which let's get that by the way as soon as those so-called Israelis go uh, make 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 their move on Iran as soon as they attack Iran the United States is going to be drawn into the Israelis confrontation against Iran which that's going to be that's going to be the official drawing point for Russia then Russia is going to be like like look man that that uh, enough is enough that's when they're going to really start a car killing American troops because Russia has a lot of interest invested in Iran so once that interest is threatened that's the drawing that's the drawing point for for Russia that's that's when they're going to say enough is enough okay so Jeremiah chapter 50 verse 45 therefore hear ye the counsel of the Lord okay which he have taken against Babylon we know Babylon is the United States of America and that is based on biblical prophecy okay and his purposes that he had proposed against the land of the Chaldeans now back in the ancient world the Chaldeans were known for what their sorcery their witchcraft their rituals you know sacrificing children sacrificing people to 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 their 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 own um, false gods which they worship okay and, and who's known for doing that in, in, in our generation the Illuminati so the Illuminati will be your modern-day Chaldeans because the Illuminati insists of what witches warlocks sorcerers people who deal with familiar spirits they're also known for what wicked rituals uh, um, sacrificing children and and, and, uh, and and people to 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 the idols they worship so your modern-day Chaldeans will be the Illuminati today and the Chaldeans main headquarters for um, performing the, the rituals was where Babylon the Illuminati's main headquarters for 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 performing their rituals and sorceries is where here in the United States of America it says surely the least of the flock who's going around telling the world that they are the flock of the Lord those so-called Israelis so guess what they are the least of the flock that shall draw them out shall draw out who that shall draw out Babylon which is the United States of America into their confrontation against Iran so surely the least of the flock surely those so-called Israelis shall draw out uh, the United States of America into their confrontation against Iran surely he shall make their habitation desolate with them because not only is the land of Israel well, um, going to be wiped out right because when, 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 when the uh, so-called Israelis make their move on Iran right uh, um what's going to happen is that they're going to cause the United States to get involved in, in their confrontation against Iran but when that happens as, as soon as the United States goes into Iran Russia is going to step in presuming to Ezekiel the 38th chapter where the Lord said be thou a guard unto them so Russia is going to be a guard unto Iran in those days and because Russia is going to step in because they're going to be attacking the United States NATO is going to step in because they're currently an ally of the United States even though we know that according to biblical prophecy NATO is going to turn on the United States of America okay that's 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 according to Obadiah chapter 1 verse 7 and Revelation chapter 17 verse 15 all the way down to 17 we know that NATO is going to turn on the United States of America okay but for the time being NATO is going to join America and and uh, the so-called Israelis and their confrontation against Russia and then uh, uh, of course against Russia and Iran and then China is going to step in because China is an ally of Russia okay then Germany is going to step in because Germany is an ally of, of NATO and, and the United States of America as well as the Israelis and then guess what North Korea is going to step in because they're an ally of China and Russia and Turkey 
Turkey. Who is who? Turkey is Gomer, Togerma, okay, uh, Meshach, and Tubal. That, that's all Turkey right there. Okay, they're going to step in. Okay, they're going to step in and, 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 and join Russia because they're an ally of Russia. And just like that, you're going to have the world superpowers all over there in the Middle East, which is the Valley of Jehoshaphat, presuming to Joel chapter 3, verse 9, all the way down to 12, right? The Valley of Jehoshaphat, okay, to, to, to fight what? The Battle of, of Armageddon, which Armageddon goes back to the Hebrew word Hamagadwan, which means Valley of Troops, because you have Harma, right, which means mountain, then you got God one, which means of troops. So the word Harma God one literally means mountain of troops. Or you could say valley of troops, okay? So, you know, it's going to be one big bloodbath over there, presuming to um, Isaiah thir the, the uh, 34th chapter, come near you nations to hear. So, we know that, you know, escalations like these is going to lead to a, 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 a even further buildup during World War III. So, we're, brothers, we're in World War III. As a matter of fact, I'm going to leave off with this scripture right here. Revelation, okay. Oh, excuse me. Revelation chapter 11, verse 14. Okay. It says, Revelation chapter 11, verse 14. The second woe is past, and behold, the third woe cometh quickly. Now let's type in woe, woe, woe. Let's see what comes up here. Because the third woe is talking about World War Three. Okay, the second woe is World War Two, which the word woe goes back to the Hebrew word abadium, which means destruction. And the, the second world war was a very destructive war. And the part of what made that war so destructful was when America dropped atomic bombs on Hiroshima and Nagasaki, which which is located in Japan. Okay, that 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 basically made the Second World War the most destructive war that ever took place upon the, upon this planet. Okay, because you can you can go to um YouTube and look up the the after effects of of the atomic bombs, Skinny Boy and Fat Boy being dropped upon Hiroshima and Nagasaki, and you'll see, man, man, it, it left some drastic effects on on, on that that country. So it says on Revelation 18 verse 13, And I beheld and heard an angel flying through the midst of heaven, saying with a loud voice, Woe, 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 which is what? That's three woes, World War III. Okay? So World War III is going to be by far the most destructive war that ever happened on this planet. Why? Because world, the, the, the end result of World War III is going to be that Russia is going to be fed up with, with the United States and their bullshit, and they're going to end up shooting their what? Russia is going to end up shooting their intercontinental ballistic missiles, which is going to carry up to hundreds hundreds of different nuclear warheads. They're going to shoot those intercontinental ballistic missiles over here to the soils of America. Okay? Where, um... When, when, when the intercontinental ballistic missile comes back down towards the earth, the, the capsule of the head of those intercontinental ballistic missiles is going to come off, and all those nuclear warheads inside of that intercontinental ballistic missile is going to rain outside of that intercontinental ballistic missile and literally explode at ground zero over here on the soils of America. And Russia is not the only one that's going to be shooting nuclear warheads on this country. Okay, it's going to be NATO, because again, uh, Revelation 17 verse 17 okay they shall they shall hate the whore which is Babylon which is the, the United States of America and shall eat her flesh and make her desolate and burn her with fire so NATO is going to shoot their intercontinental ballistic missiles on this country and it's not going to just be Russia or NATO it's going to be China it's going to be North Korea it's going to be Iran Iran is also going to shoot intercontinental ballistic missiles which will carry multiple nuclear warheads on the land of Israel as well because that land's got to be cleansed of, of, of all them small hat rats, sewer rats down there humping walls, defiling our land. So that land is going to be cleansed. You see? 
So, whoa, whoa, whoa. So, this is talking about the Third World War. So, whoa, whoa, whoa to the inhabitants of the earth by reason of the voices of the trumpet of the three angels, which are yet to sound. So, with that, I'm going to say, Shalom, it's on to the next.